Yes, time for another beer review. And this time we have Hop Buck from Meerhout in Belgium. So it is an Imperial Milk Stout coming in at 11% ABV, barrel aged for 10 months on the French brandy barrels. We're gonna open it and try it. So two guys started January 2020, Stan and Kim, they are called, uh, started this brewery. So it's a rather new brewery, but it's been brewed at Het Nest. Okay, that's a very big brewery, Het Nest. They have more capacity. And that's a great thing for guys, these guys from Hoppuk. Oh yeah. And they go for quality, not for quantity. Oh yeah. That's their motto. Their motto. I will put a bottle here. Okay. Paint it black, the beer is called. And you can see it is black with a three finger like mocha creamed, light brown head to it. Okay. It's gonna be really steady the head, I can see it already. It's creamy, your milk stout of course, lactose, I think. Okay, cheers guys, first of the nose. The barrels, the French brandy barrels I can get. And, and again with the stout, most of the time you get chocolate and coffee. And this one definitely got those things in it. So we're gonna try it, cheers guys. Eleven percent ABV. Ten months. The barrels very nice, really in balance. You might think after ten months in these barrels, brandy barrels that are more aggressive. Still, it is really well balanced. Now the booziness comes in. The booziness kicks in. Warming sensation down my throat to my chest. Um, it is full. It is indeed creamy, your typical milk stout. And like I told you, some beans. I get coffee beans or also some nuts in there. Um, chocolatey, caramel. It's rather sweet, but it's full in taste. It's really, really full in taste. It's thick. It's really enjoyable. A very nice brewed beer. Indeed, like they told us. We deliver quality, not quantity, and they did it with this one again. They have multiple ones, some are barrel aged, other ones are not. I'm quite sure they got a paint in black also, in a non-barrel aged version, but uh, that's another story. This one, really nice, with the red fruits, dry fruits, some spices. The bitterness, it feels kind of bitter. But it is sweet due to the French brandy barrels, I guess. Not quite sure. Of course, of course, of course, of course, a milk chocolate. And yes, maybe, really, maybe a little bit. I do detect that honey. So nutty, honey, your chocolate, your coffee beans. Could it be chocolate malts? Could be indeed caramel. Um, some spices, I'm thinking about cinnamon. Oh, mm. yes. That licorice, also that licorice sweetness, the malty sweetness. Again, with the chocolate and the brandy barrels. Um, for rating, because that's an important part, this is a very nice beer. So I'm gonna go with, again, my eight out of 10. That's a four to five on untapped. <laughs> the app for the phone so I'm quite happy with that again ha. and maybe if you try it you could give this 9 out of 10 no way could be easy why everybody is different and everybody likes different styles of beers different flavors some ingredients are not so enjoyable to some but to others it could be really nice for them Hell so yeah. I'm gonna round it up thanks for watching and don't forget a beer day keeps up their way. Cheers.